Hey everyone, it's Argonath here from Return of the Fan, and well, 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 Wolf Smith finally apologizes to Chris Rock. He couldn't do it at all on the night of the uh, incident, the night of the Oscars ceremony, but um, I don't believe his um, apology is actually sincere at all. So let's have a read of what he actually said um, in this article from Variety. Will Smith has issued an apology after slapping Chris Rock at the Oscars stage Sunday night. Violence in all its forms is poisonous and destructive. Well, it would have been good if you didn't actually slap him. Sure, go up to him, speak your mind, get in his face, but actually slapping him? Mm, yeah, don't know. That uh, is a bit destructive, isn't it, Will Smith? Then why did you do it? My behaviour at last night's Academy Awards was unacceptable and inexcusable. Jokes at my expense are part of the job, but a joke about Jada's medical condition was too much for me to bear, and I reacted emotionally. She has hair loss, right? She's losing some hair. She cut her hair short. Lots of people in the world have that as well, right? If someone calls them out on it, they don't go around slapping people, do they? You could say something about anybody, and someone will take offense. So do we just go around slapping people? Don't think so. Um, although I don't agree with um, making fun of someone else just for the sake of it, but you've got to be able to laugh at yourself as well, right? Um, I'm not a white person. I hear jokes about my race all the time, and they're funny. I laugh at them. I'm happy to laugh about myself and my race because I know a lot of it is true. And it's actually funny to laugh at yourself, right? Don't you take yourself so seriously. Um... Smith wrote, I would like to publicly apologize to you, Chris. I was out of line and I was wrong. I'm embarrassed and my actions were not indicative of the man I am. I want to be. Well, they're indicative of the man you actually are because um, that's just, it was an off-the-cuff thing. And so that's the kind of person you are to actually do that. There is no place for violence in a world of love and kindness. That's the thing that all these left-wingers, all the Hollywood elite go on about for the rest of us. You know, show your love and kindness to everybody, blah, blah, blah. But they don't actually show it themselves. The post continued. I'd also like to apologize to the Academy, the producers of the show, and all the attendees and everyone watching around the world. I'd like to apologize to the Williams family and my King Richard family. So yeah, so when you accepted your award, you used the Williams family as an excuse to um, to, to say what you did was, was right, Chris, uh, sorry, Will Smith to Chris Rock, right? So why did you use the Williams family? Because you knew it would actually get you more sympathy, right? I deeply regret that my behavior has stained what has been an otherwise gorgeous journey for us all. I am a work in pro oh my god, you're a grown man. What are you in your 40s or 50s or something? In your 40s maybe? You're a grown man. Are you still a work in progress? That's absolutely ridiculous. You should be pretty much know who you are and what you're all about. All right, so this isn't um this was done quite a while after the incident, right? This isn't sincere at all, because if you look at what happened directly after the Oscars, let's have a read of that, Smith parties into the night. New footage shows the newly crowned Best Actor winner partying into the Hollywood night following a chaotic award ceremony. It's been a beautiful night, said Smith, as he held court at the famous Vanity Fair after party. Social media images show the A-list are dancing and singing to his own music. So it doesn't look like you're too hard on yourself back then, but of course... By this stage, you'll have seen the fallout from what you did, and people are getting into your ear saying, hey, you better apologize, you better apologize, because this is looking bad for you. Then you apologize. If you apologized right away to Chris Rock, because you didn't do it in your acceptance speech, you apologize to everyone else except for the guy that you actually slapped, right? If you did it then, then I might believe that you were sincerely sorry, but I don't believe it at all. Um, I don't know about anyone or the viewers that are watching this, whether you believe that at all, but it's not sincere, sh seriously. Um, the Hollywood Reporter website says Smith entered the party with his wife Jada Pinkett Smith, children Willow, blah blah blah. Inside, he was embraced by the likes of Lupita Nyongo, Lena Waithi, and Trevor Noah. So, all these people that are embracing these people, you are also um, condoning violence as well, right? Um, because he's the star of King Richard, which involves the Williams sisters, I believe that he's getting, Will Smith is getting more sympathy because of that as well. Um, you don't see all these people going off to defend Chris Rock either, right? Um, so basically, Will Smith was basically partying it up into the night, 
but the day after, once he sees the fallout, what it's doing to his reputation, now he's seeming to be um, apologizing for that. Um, anyway, let me know what you think. There's some more in the article. I'm not going to go through and um, go through it as well. Um, if you want to read that article, go ahead and read it. But I don't believe Will Smith's um, apology is actually sincere at all. It's not genuine. If it was genuine, he would have done it right away, and he would have um, apologized to Chris Rock right at the time when he did his acceptance speech. But he didn't, so it's not genuine. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section. If you think it's genuine, then let me know why. Love to read it. Um, everyone's entitled to their opinion, so that's fine. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, you're welcome to give it a thumbs down. And if you like my content, please subscribe. And also hit the bell notification, because then you'll get notifications when new videos go up as well. Anyway, hopefully I'll catch you in the next video.